My name is uh, Dan Gretsch, and thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, before uh, we get started with our formal presentation, I, I wanted to take a minute um, and talk about Blackout Tuesday. Um, you know, many of you are aware uh, that uh, the music industry started um, a uh, movement uh, yesterday called Hashtag Blackout Tuesday related to um, supporting uh, many of the protests related to police violence. Uh, it came out of the music industry and it spread to many other industries. Um, and uh, I know uh, BizHack, for one, uh, remained silent on social media yesterday uh, to give room for the voices of those who uh, are oppressed and aggrieved uh, to, to have the space to talk about what they're experiencing. Um, it is an extraordinary moment we're living in right now, and I wanted to acknowledge it. Um, Instagram, which is the topic of today's presentation, plays a big part uh, in both the opportunity and the oppression um, that a lot of folks uh, are, are, um, are, are uh, movement and movements against. And, um, you know, the power structures uh, that Facebook, which owns Instagram, Twitter, which is, you know, clashing right now with the president, um, inevitably social media, and advertising and digital marketing has taken on and takes on uh, a political bent. BizHack's point of view in all of this is we are empowers and enablers of small business. And by virtue of the fact that we're based in Miami, though we do reach an international audience and a little bit more about that later, uh, the majority of our constituents are people of color. Uh, more than half of the people in our current five-week course uh, are Black and African American. And this is a point of real pride. Um, what we attempt to do at BizHack is to empower and enable small businesses to take their marketing into their own hands to give them the power to grow and to use these tools that are made available to them to allow for that. And so... Um, our mission is to bring 21st century marketing tools to the modern small business to allow them to thrive. And in that way, uh, do our small part to try to restore uh, economic justice and equality in this country. 